Hello and welcome to the workout. I'm super excited. We've got a brand new legs, back, and bicep workout for you today. You're going to need a handled resistance band, one or two sets of dumbbells, maybe light to medium, medium to heavy, depending on your fitness level. We're gonna be working in supersets today. That means there's gonna be two exercises put together back to back. Your job is to find the weight load where 12 repetitions for each set are hard. At the end of each superset, we're gonna take a short rest. We're gonna repeat the five supersets two times. If you want a harder workout today, you're just gonna complete an additional set of each superset. Hey, if you ever wanna join me live for this workout, come on over to hollyperkins.com forward slash free workout and you can join me and my friends who are off camera right now as we shoot this live and you can stay for the workout after the workout where we usually do a Q&A and we even have a little secret workout if you wanna join us, hollyperkins.com forward slash free workout. Let's get into it. We're gonna go through a little bit of a warm up here to get started and then we'll get into the workout. Take your feet separated. And let's take a big inhale up. When you inhale up, reach up to the sky. Reach up, 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 up. Exhale it out, do that two more times. Big inhale up, reach up, 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 up. All the way up. And exhale it out. One more time, big inhale up. Reach, 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 reach. And exhale it out. Let's come into some spinal twists. So, you just want to let your um, you just want to let your arms flow around your body. Squeeze your glute of the leg that you're turning away from, so that you get really good spinal rotation coming around your pelvis. Draw in through your abs and just let your arms flow and go where they want. Focusing on really squeezing the glute of the leg that you're turning away from, okay? Squeeze it, abs drawn in, rotating all the way around. And relax, take your feet under your hips and I want you to just take your arms up over your head nice and relaxed. On go, you are going to actively extend towards the ceiling and go. I want you to look up, lengthen up, and I want you to do whatever you need to do to lengthen out your spine, lengthen out the space from your rib cage to your hips. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale and relax. Just catch your breath, and I want you to bring your hands back behind you. Interlock your fingers. Extend your chest forward. <laughs> Extend your chest forward. Bring your shoulders towards each other and relax. Let's do it again. Arms up over your head and go. Really extend. Do whatever you need to do to lengthen out the space from your rib cage to your hip. Reach, 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 reach. You're going to feel your core muscles activate and grab. Relax it out. Take your feet separated. That is one of my most favorite um, core activating exercises. It's so great for improving that transverse abdominus, which is going to protect your back. Take a look down, your feet should be totally parallel. Bend your knees, hips back, and let's go side to side. Your feet are generally a little wider than you would expect them to be. I love this preparatory move to really activate the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings. It's also incredible for hip flexibility. You're gonna feel a stretch on the inner thigh here and here, and I want you to sit super deep. This is also in preparation for um, an exercise we're gonna do later in the workout. Okay, and I want you to sit a bit deeper, coming down to just reach past your toe, pushing your hips way back so that you get that glute activation, sitting as deeply as it feels right for you, bending into the knee, making sure that your feet stay truly parallel to each other, nice and deep. And two more, and relax. Feet together, and I'm gonna combine a couple of exercises. Take a big reach up, exhale, step back into a lunge, step forward, big reach. We're gonna alternate a handful of times here. Big reach, big step back to open up the hips, activate the glutes, open up the hip flexor, so important, especially if you spend a lot of time sitting. Big reach. 
keep your body weight focused on the front heel. Letting that back knee just gently tap down. And in a moment, we're gonna turn this into the world's greatest stretch. If you haven't done it, it will change your life. The best range of motion exercise I've ever created. I'm gonna take credit for this move, thank you very much. And let's do two more here. And now we're gonna stay in the lunge position. Stay here. I want you to scoop up, turn towards the leg in front, bring that same hand back to your heel, pause, lift, look over your shoulder. And relax, come forward, step forward, reach up, other leg coming down to stand, and scoop your hands forward. Turn towards the leg in front, same hand, comes back and look over your shoulder. Pause for that stretch. We're gonna do this again. We got three on each side. Relax, step forward, reach up, step back other leg, scoop forward, turn towards the leg in the front, and that same hand comes back, keeping that back toe tucked, lift up, look over your shoulder. Isn't that amazing? So good. Jill, switch sides with your upper body. Switch sides with your upper body. Yes, no, no. <laughs> And relax, let's step forward. Big reach up. Relax and step back. The leg that's in front, turn towards that side. And the hand comes back to the heel. And we're gonna do one more on each side. Yep. This one gets confusing for people. Exhale, step forward, step up, one more on each side. So the key, which leg is in front? Turn to that leg, towards that leg, and the hand comes back to the heel. Exactly. Tucking that back toe, lifting up and out, looking over the shoulder. And relax, step forward, reach up. One more on the other side. Tell me that doesn't feel amazing and get you ready for the workout. And in this position, if you're really focused on squeezing that glute of the knee that's down, wow, it's amazing. So good. And relax, step forward. As you come up, please lift your knees five or six times. We're gonna get into the workout. Handled resistance band, one or two sets of dumbbells. I'm gonna show you the two exercises and then we'll get into it. First exercise, starting with split squat. One hand up over the head and we are just dropping straight down and up for 12. Switch legs, same on the other side second dumbbell, we're going into hammer curl. 12 reps, choose a weight load where it's actually challenging. Are you ready? Grab your dumbbell, feet together, bend your knees, take a step back, arm up over the head, and here we go. 12 repetitions, straight down and up. Please make sure you're counting your reps, okay? I will admit, I am not always accurate in my rep counting, and you know why? because you, my friend, are a big girl and you can take ownership of your fitness and your progress and you can count to 10 so that I can focus on teaching you things that are more important. So promise me, yep, promise me that you will count out your reps because on an exercise like this, I wanna make sure that you're getting equal number of repetitions on each side. Switch sides, you can put your dumbbell on your shoulder if you want. It does not have to be overhead if that feels a little too much for you. And we're coming basically straight down and up. Yes, really focus on that front heel, driving into that front heel as much as you can, activating that glute, lengthening out through your abdomen. If this exercise is hard for you, that is your cue that you need to work it a bit more. That's a little known secret in my business. When I see that a client struggles with an exercise, I know that's the exercise she needs the most. Grab that other dumbbell. We've got hammer curl. This is a great exercise for at least 
eight pounds, feet together. Draw your shoulder blades back and down like crazy. Bicep curl. Now I want you to give me a pause at the top. Really squeezing and activating into your bicep right there. You don't want a lot of movement at the elbow. Okay, your elbows are gonna shift kind of forward and back a little bit. You also don't lock off your elbows. I see people doing that and that's just silliness. Your elbows do move a little bit. You just don't want them to move a whole lot in space. 12 reps, weight load should be challenging right here. If you're not struggling, you can use a heavier weight load. One more, take a short break. We're gonna repeat the superset and I'm gonna repeat what I just said again. If when you get to that 12th repetition, if you're not cursing me, that weight load is not challenging enough. This is not a cardio workout. This is not a get your heart rate up and sweat workout. This is to really work your strength and your musculature. That depends on the weight loads that you're using. You've got to use weight loads where the last two repetitions of every single set are actually hard. They slow you down. You lose your technique. You start to curse me. It puts the work in workout. That's what those last two reps are about. And you're in charge of finding the weight load that helps you to achieve that. Let's go into our second set. Split squat, feet together. Bend your knees, arm overhead. Coming into that split squat position. Find your perfect positioning. And here we go, 12 reps really focusing on that front leg. So with a split squat, it really is about your front leg. Your back leg is doing some stuff for sure, but for the most part, I want you to just stay on the toe of that back foot and put your thought and your focus into the front leg, especially into your heel. You don't want much tension in that front toe. 12 reps. One more, step forward, you can do that, yeah, you can do that. One of our arm up overhead, stepping back in here. Yes, my backup dancer Jill asked if you could have two dumbbells. Absolutely, you could hold two dumbbells at your sides here. That's gonna be a little easier. Arm overhead is gonna make it harder. It also just brings in a bit of counterbalancing. You're off, off balance here. So it just makes the exercise a bit different and harder. Drive into that front heel. Drive into that front heel. Relax through the front toes. Focus on the glute, on that front leg. Two more-ish. Remember, you're counting and grab that second dumbbell, hammer curl. More than anything on this exercise, it's critical to get your shoulders back in space and down. Back and down, back and down, back and down. Back and down, like your life depends on it. Squeeze up bicep, give me a pause at the top. Also, when your shoulders go back and down, you're gonna feel like your chest is popping forward. Super, I cannot stress this enough. It is a game changer. When you figure out where your shoulder girdle, your shoulder blades are supposed to be, and you're really anchoring them in space there, it's a major game changer for all of your exercises, lower body included. 12 reps, take a short break, and I'm gonna show you our next two exercises. Now, if you want a harder workout today, you're gonna to repeat those two exercises for a third superset. Let me show you our next two exercises. You're gonna need your handled resistance band. First exercise, feet together. You're gonna to bend your knees, take a big step out. Your job is to sit into a lunge and tap the floor with your dumbbell. This is your goal. If you can't get there, you're here and that's fine. Push off this leg, step together and repeat. So you're coming down to tap the floor with that dumbbell. 12 on this side, 12 on the other side. We grab our handled resistance band. Step in the middle, shorten the band if you need to. We're at the bottom of an RDL and it's a band. Row, 
for 12 reps right here. You guys ready? Let's start with that side lunge. Medium to heavy weight load here. Dumbbell at your chest, bend your knees. Here we go, sit down, tap the floor, pull to your chest, count to 12. Sit heavy into the heel that you're stepping onto. And even though you're tapping the ground with that dumbbell, I want you to really sit your glutes, sit your hips down. Keep your chest a little lifted, okay? Now, the taller you are, or the longer your legs, the harder this is going to be, okay? So know that, that if you've got long legs, or if you're taller than 5'7", it's gonna be a little bit harder for you. Hips reach back, 12 reps, landing on this heel, right there, pushing off that heel, and let's do the other side. Same thing, feet together. Always begin your leg exercises, feet together. Bend your knees so that they're soft. That's gonna activate the hamstrings. Big step, tap the floor, come together. Do you notice one leg is better than the other? This is my better leg. This is my good leg. My left leg is my good leg. Yeah, it feels good, right? Land into the heel, keep your chest lifted. So even though those hips are sitting down, you still wanna keep your chest lifted. Focus all your effort and pressure on the heel, this moving heel right there. Cool. And if this is doable, right now, if this is doable, you need a heavier weight load. Because these last two reps right here, you should be like, oh, Holly, stop, please. And relax. Grab your handle resistance band. You gotta feel that weight. If you're gonna improve your lean muscle mass to be optimally healthy, you gotta use challenging weight loads. Step on your band, feet hip distance, knees are bent, arch in your lower back, and let's pull. Now again, just like on that dumbbell hammer curl for the biceps that we did, shoulders need to be back and down for this exercise. The more you get your shoulder blades in the right place, the better your arms are gonna look. One of my secrets, after 30 years of coaching women, and men too, but women mostly here, if you get your shoulders back and down, you're gonna get so much more out of arm training and relax. I can't tell you for years, short break and then we repeat. For years, I would have my clients do bicep and tricep exercises to make their arms look good, right? Their arms would never change. As soon as I started focusing on shoulders back and down and focusing on shoulder exercises, shoulder exercises, or we're gonna make your arm look amazing. Not just biceps and triceps. You can do bicep curls, tricep exercises all day long. If your shoulders aren't in the right place, you're not gonna get, <laughs> you're not gonna get the toning and the training that you want in your arms. Let's go for that second set. Now remember, if that first set of that side lunge, you were like, the Holly Perkins workout was too easy. That is on you, because that means you're not using a weight load, because if I showed up at your house right now, I would crush you on these exercises, okay? This workout could crush you if you're using the right weight loads. Here we go, big step out, reach for the floor. Here's what I want you to imagine. I want you to make a note of how much weight load you're using right now. Now imagine if I gave you a 50 pound dumbbell. Think about that, right? You'd be like, oh my God, that'd be so hard, I couldn't do it. Exactly. So chances are, you could probably go a hair heavier than you are currently. Reach those hips back because you really should be like, oh my goodness. You should have to work. I want you to have good technique for sure, but it really should be super challenging, especially right here on your last two reps. Same thing on the other leg, okay? 
feet together. Lower your center of gravity so your hamstrings are engaged. Reach those hips back and push. Good, so your leg that's not moving doesn't really do anything. This is all about that leg that's stepping, putting your body weight into that heel. Chest is up. Good stuff, right? Feel that? Whew. So good, right? Oh, what extra, what muscles? Your friends? Jill said to tell my friends what muscles this exercise is working. One more, we're going into band row. So this exercise is so good. Inner thighs, hamstrings, glutes, and you get a lot of core if you really make sure that you're keeping your chest up and a little in your mid back. Handle resistance band, step into it, feet equidistance and separated, bend your knees, slight arch in your lower back, pull and pause, pull and pause. Really reach your shoulder blades back. So important. When I do this, I feel this deep in my core at the attachment of my lats. It's actually the origin, but you know, for those of you that are getting technical, the origin of the lats. So, tummy drawn in, arch in the lower back. Super important. Chest stays up, 12 reps, pull and pause. Two more, pull and pause. One more, and relax. Consider a third set of these two exercises. Short break, if you don't need, at least 20 seconds right now, you're not working hard enough. 20 seconds rest, at least. Here we go, third set, let me show you. You're definitely going to need a heavier dumbbell for both of these exercises. First exercise, first exercise, the beloved, good baby of them all. Goblet squat, squeeze your booty. Toes are turned to open, squeeze your booty. Goblet squat's the best, it's my favorite. Second exercise, both dumbbells, feet together, arch in your lower back, and we are going to alternate rowing. Dumbbell rowing, this works really good with a heavier dumbbell. You'll do 12 repetitions on each arm, so that's a total of 24 passes, okay? Are we ready? We got goblet squat first, toes are open, chest is lifted. Keep your weight load in contact with your upper chest. Here we go. Sit, squeeze those glutes. Come on, glutey gang, squeeze your glutes. Stand tall right there, squeeze your glutes right there. Good, right? As you sit down, hips should end below your knees just a little, and at the top, you've got to return to a full upright position, good posture, and squeeze the crap out of your butt. Squeeze those butt cheeks. 12 reps, two more. Hold those dumbbells, and we've got alternating dumbbell row. Feet together, knees bent, one up, one down, shoulders back and down, right, and let's swap and swap. It's the Beyonce dance, my backup dancer says. Okay. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> Put a ring on it. <laughs> Pull those elbows back, shoulder blades back and down. She says we need to turn this into a Beyonce dance, you guys, go for it. <laughs> totally is the Beyonce dance. The Beyonce, she got that move from her workout. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Row those elbows back, 12 on each side. Okay, should be heavy. You ready? Short break. And we're gonna go into our second set in a moment. How did that feel? How did that goblet squat? Now listen, I put goblet squat third in the rotation because you're prepared, you're warmed up, you're ready. This should be challenging. This exercise right now, your next goblet squat, should be the exercise where you really challenge yourself. So 
I encourage you, could you try a little bit heavier than you did on that last set? Let's see what happens. If it's too heavy, you put it down and you use a lighter weight load. Are you ready? Round two. Whatever weight load you're using, a dumbbell or a kettlebell, make sure it stays in contact with your upper chest. Toes are open, here we go. Sitting nice and deep and ending with your glutes underneath you, really squeezing your glutes at the top, abs drawn in. I want you to incorporate that exercise from the start of the workout. That first preparatory exercise where you lifted your arms up over your head very actively, arms reach up your head, and that is gonna activate that transverse abdominis so that you're really keeping your core involved, strengthening the core, and also protecting your lower back. And alternating dumbbell row, feet together, bend your knees, doubles at your side, one up, one down, here we go. Swap and swap, 12 on each side. You should have to work, you should have to work for this, okay? <laughs> Elbows back, really roam back, tummy drawn in. You are gonna feel this in your upper back. Second set here. If you want, if you're ahead of me, you can go ahead and start a third superset. In a moment, I'm going to show you our next combination. And relax, good. Next two exercises, we're gonna do a band squat and a band bicep curl. We haven't done a band squat for a while. For those of you guys that are with me, my loyalists behind the scenes doing the workout with me live, we have not done this for a very long time. Very excited. So, you're gonna step on your band, stretch it between your feet, and then I need you to check the resistance on each side of the band so that you've got equidistant. From here, toes are open. You're gonna wrap your band back behind you, hands at your shoulders, and here is your band squat. Okay, so it looks very similar to a goblet squat, but with the band and the upper body positioning, it's a little different. That's your band squat. Then we're gonna immediately go into bicep curl, with the palms facing forward. This is called a supinated bicep curl, and it's different because your palms are forward, whereas on our last dumbbell exercise, your palms were facing each other in a neutral grip. You ready? Band squat. So toes are turned open a little bit, heels are shoulder width distance apart. Bring that band up back behind your arms. Elbows keep that band back, and here we go. Sit and stand, yep. Keep your chest lifted, let that band do the work for you. Make sure that you're finishing off the move at the top by getting your hips underneath you. Super important, stand up nice and tall, hips underneath you. Draw your abs in, keep your body weight focused on your heels. Chest is lifted, butt under, squeeze the glutes. Sitting as deeply as you can. If this is not hard right now, you need to work harder. One more going right into supinated bicep curl. Where are your shoulders? Back and down. Good job. Back and down, bicep curl. Palms are facing forward. Biceps. There's two by heads that we call it of the biceps. That's why they're called the biceps. When your palms are forward like this in a supinated grip, you're emphasizing one of those heads of your biceps. And when your palms are facing each other, like they were in a hammer curl, you're emphasizing a different head of the biceps. That's why I like to do both, because you're really making sure that you get a comprehensive stimulus to both heads of your bicep. Take a short break, walk it out, get some water, turn up your music. We're gonna do a second set of this superset. And remember, if you want a harder workout today, you can add a third superset. If you're watching this in playback, you can always hit that pause button. You could even do a fourth or a fifth superset if you want. That's why I created these workouts the way that I did, 
so that you can make it harder or bigger or longer or more challenging to suit your fitness level. And if you're not quite there yet, totally cool to do these exercises with just your body weight only for some of them. If you're beginning your strength training journey, and some of these exercises have to be with no dumbbells or no resistance, that is a-okay. As long as the last two repetitions are challenging, you choose your weight load. Let's go for our second set. You ready? Toes are open, chest is up, squeeze your glutes at the top. Reach your hips back. You're not just sitting down. You're really reaching your hips back. You're keeping your chest up, focusing your body weight, your effort and your energy onto your heels, sitting your weight back. This helps to activate the glutes, the hamstrings, and the whole posterior chain. Hips press forward, squeeze your glutes. Two more, enjoy it bicep curl. Isn't that good? So good. So good. Shoulders back and down. Palms forward and pull. Yes. This exercise with your palms forward, supinated, it's a smaller head of the biceps. So this one is a little harder because it's a smaller volume of the muscle, okay? So it's just slightly different enough, even though these are both bicep curls. Now listen, I got my band tight. I am having to work. Like this, if you're not working right now, you can work harder because I could crush you on this exercise alone if that band was heavy and hard enough. That was work in the workout. Take a short break. We are moving on to our fifth and final superset. We're going down onto the ground. Now, if you have an exercise bench or a couch or something that you can lay on, these ne next two exercises work great from an elevated surface. And if you don't have that, you get to follow along and do it on the ground with me. Let me show you our next two exercises. But first, these are two of the best. These are my favorites. If I had to pick two exercises at the top of the list, it would be these two. And that's why you've got them today. Okay, so first exercise is a glute bridge or a hip thrust from the bench. From here, toes are turned out. You're gonna press into your hips and you're gonna tuck your hips and your booty at the top to really make sure you're using your glutes and your hamstrings. If you have a barbell, this is a great time to use it. Immediately, heavier dumbbell. We are going into lying dumbbell pullover. I did this exercise two days ago in the gym and I am still sore from it. Love this exercise. You guys ready to join me? Okay, one dumbbell at your hips, or if you need a slightly harder workout, two dumbbells, here we go. 12 reps. Give me a pause at the top. Give me a pause, okay? Squeeze and pause right there. Now listen, higher on your hips is not harder. I don't want you thinking that to make this exercise harder, you wanna go higher. You actually wanna go better and heavier. Better is really getting your pelvis tucked. So look, from here to here, we're tucking and turning and rotating the pelvis under at the top so that you get the work and the load onto your hamstrings and your glutes, not your quads. 12 reps and relax. Heavy dumbbell or double up, two lighter dumbbells. Where are your shoulders? Back and down. Back and down. Up over your head and you know what happens when you get shoulders back and down on this exercise? You know what happens? You get an incredible ab workout. So in the past, <clears throat> when I was consistently overloading this exercise, I never had to do any ab exercises because my abs would get so ripped. Between this and Romanian deadlift with a barbell, I never had to do any ab exercises. And you would think that I had so shoulders, 
back, which means shoulders are moving towards each other, shoulder blades towards each other so there's no space, and down means you're pushing your shoulder blades towards your hips. Short break and rest. Okay, how did those two exercises feel? If it was doable and you're still going strong, go grab yourself a heavier dumbbell. Like I said, if you've got an exercise bench and you can use a barbell across your hips, go for it and make this even more challenging by turning it into a barbell hip thrust. From the ground is great. You can also do this with a barbell or you could use one or two heavier dumbbells if you need to. Second set, are you ready? Here we go. Come up, squeeze those glutes. Make sure that you are really tucking your pelvis. It should feel, you should feel so much in your glutes and your hamstrings here. Make sure that your knees are pressing away from each other. That's called abduction. We want the knees pressing away from each other so that you really hit and emphasize your glutes. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze it. Press your knees out. Give me that pause at the top. Really, really working glutes and hamstrings here. Oh, I love it. Best, best, best ever. 12 reps. And then going into the second best ever. <laughs> Lying dumbbell pullover. Dumbbells over you. Push your shoulders towards your hips and lock them there. Like, I mean a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Push your shoulders down like crazy. Arms up over your head. Drive your palms towards your knees. Shoulders, shoulder blades moving towards each other also. Push your shoulder blades towards each other. Ah, doesn't that feel so good? I'll tell you what, this is an excellent exercise. If you have neck and shoulder problems, if you tend to have neck pain, stiffness, tension, this is an incredible exercise to strengthen your shoulder girdle away from your ears to relieve that tension. 12 reps. You can do a third set here if you want. One more. And relax. Go ahead and put your dumbbells down and I want you to just bring one knee into your chest, just one knee. And let's just hold and relax. I'm gonna take you through a series of cool down exercises, a couple little stretches. Then if, you would if you're here with me live and you'd like to stay for the workout after the workout and the q and I'll see you there. If you're watching this in playback and you wanna join us, next time come on over to hollyperkins.com forward slash free workout you can sign up to get the secret link to join us live on a saturday so that you can stick around for the q a after pull your knee in deeply great stretch for those hips and relax okay feet down put your feet together Take your right leg up over your left leg. I call it a dinner table cross. Right leg is on top. Right leg is on top. Arms out to the sides. Topple your knees over to your left. Right knee is on top. Twist your knees to your left. Your right leg is on top. Twist your knees to your left. Reach out to the side, enjoy that twist. I love twists, so good for you. Please be gentle, but they're so good. This should be a little passive. Tummy drawn in, mm-hmm. Use the strength of your abs to pull back to center. Unlock, okay, feet are down. Now, left leg, dinner table cross. Left leg comes up over, just like a dinner table cross. Then both of your knees go to your right. To your right, woo! Let those knees just relax, down and over. It's the best. <laughs> Enjoy that stretch. Oh, it's so good, so good. Pull to center. And I want you to just roll over to your side and sit up. As you sit up naturally, your feet will be in a staggered position. Let's stay in that staggered position. 
And from here, I want you to reach up and just arc over towards that leg that is rotated out to the side. So good, so good. Let this hip really drop down towards the ground. And relax and just switch sides with those legs. Just flip flop. Inhale up, stretching towards the leg that's turned out away from you. <clears throat> Dropping this hip down to the ground. Big reach, big open. It's so good, is it not? And relax, sit comfortably. Let's take a big inhale up. Exhale it out. Thank you so much for joining me for the workout. I hope you will join me live. I'll see you next Saturday. Have an awesome day.